guys, this Oloru is here. Hey, hey, this time around, they have bites more than they can chew. Especially this Oloru Ashley. And all of this is because, one, is that they don't care about KBC. Forget the fact that they will come on social media and start writing a piece to uh, declaring how much they love KBS, how much they want KBS and all of that. They don't care about him if this information is true. Because if they care about KBS, they would have uh, think about his uh, reputation, what will happen to his uh, reputation if this information gets out. If they think in that direction, I don't think they will do what they just did to KBS. I don't know if you have been following this gist, but only recently, about yesterday or day, or day before yesterday, we heard that a particular woman came out to claim that KBSC is uh, that KBSC collected hundred and eighty thousand dollars, hundred and eighty thousand dollars from her, and the promise that he is going to marry her. And the information have it that this lady in question have used close to three hundred thousand dollars to prepare for this wedding maybe kbsc must have told her that uh, uh, the marriage is going to happen soon because if you have been following as well you will remember that from monday to tuesday there was another rumor going on uh, on social media that kbsc is planning to marry the seventh wife they said a woman called queen naomi on the phone to tell her that, look, oh, don't think that you are winning because KBSC is about to bring in the, sec the seventh wife. And that seventh wife will not go and live in the Olori quarters. She will be in her husband's house, which is the palace. That was what they said. The lady that called Queen Naomi told Queen Naomi. So Queen Naomi was a little bit worried. And uh, they said shortly after that particular call, another uh, the lady called again. To send Queen Naomi pictures of a particular princess who is from Oyotunji village in Caroline, USA. Caroline, uh, yes, USA. In South Carolina, Carolina, USA. Let me not bite my tongue. But if you have been following, you will remember the gist. Telling Queen Naomi that uh, that lady is from a royal home and the, her marriage with KBSC have been finalized that it is going to happen between uh, now and October when KBSC will celebrate his birthday. That was the information. As a matter of fact, a lot of people were worried. Why others are saying that it is gang up, it is a setup, it is a do all of his, uh, handwork and everything. And at some point, that message and call was stressed to Ashley and her aunt. It was Ashley's aunt who called Gwenomi and said all of that. You know? So, but the one that carried weight, the particular message, the particular, particular rumor that carried message happens to be that one, that one the Yoruba US-based lady claiming that KBSC collected $180,000. $180,000 from her and promised her marriage. See, let me tell you, KBSC is very good at uh, ignoring everything that people are saying about him because people are saying a whole lot about him, both the, the good one, the bad one, the truth, the rumors, the false. People are ca as in, hey. Anyways, so, and KBSC have not have been ignoring all those ones, but the particular one, they said, he's a PA on media. His person, uh, pe uh, personal advisor on media have to address this particular issue because it was getting as in too much go to instagram go to tiktok go to everywhere as a matter of fact i saw a message i saw a video on tiktok where they said that kbsc is now doing yahoo yahoo hey <laughs> i said now wow these people there is nothing you guys will not do with kbsc's name the only of if is now a yahoo boy yo he collected a uh, hundred and eighty thousand dollars from a uh, u.s based a woman and promised the woman marriage. Now he is not giving the woman the marriage as promised, and the woman is coming after him. I saw it and I was like, now nah, wow. So it has gotten to this extent. But when I saw that message, I know that uh, it is not true. Do you know why I know it's not true? Because KBSC cannot soil his name in such manner. 
if you said that uh, uh, maybe KBS is seen with a woman, or the, I might say maybe it's possible because we all know that KBS love a woman, no. But collecting money from a woman and promising that person marriage, I know that KBS cannot do that. I know for sure that he cannot do that. Those ones that he married, is he, is he not the one giving them money? Is he not the one giving them connection? Is he not the one making sure that their businesses are flourishing so that they will have a, a better uh, uh, future? KBS is not good at uh, collecting money from women, but he can give. He can marry them. If they say uh, KBS promise not a, a woman a, a marriage, I might say it's possible. But collecting money for marriage, I did not believe it. I did not for once. So my people, oh, they said this message have been going on and on until the KBS PA addressed the issue, telling them that KBS did not know anything about it. As a matter of fact, KBS did not collect any money from anybody. If that person is very sure of what she, she is saying, that she should come to the palace, let them settle it once and for all, if that person is sure. But KBS does not know anything that has to do any woman at all. Did not collect any money from any woman at all. But you know that bloggers, we will always do our job, which is uh, helping rumors to fly very high. <laughs> so, my people, do you know why they say KBS have decided to divorce Ashley? Do you know, could you believe that when they started tracing this issue, when they started tracing this particular issue, who have been making headways on every plat every social media platform. Ah, these people, they don't care about KBSC. Information have it that it was Ashley and her aunt who paid that woman to come and do that damage to KBSC's name. Hell, KBSC said, he, they said KBSC shed tears. KBSC shed tears because he used to think that Ashley is his friend. He used to think that Ashley got his back. He used to think that Ashley will not see something bad and do it to him. That Ashley's fight is all about Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi, Queen Naomi. He never knew that she have graduated from hurting Queen Naomi to hurting himself because he doesn't want to give up on Queen Naomi, my people. What more can these people do? The Sekabiesi is in tears. Why he demanded that his marriage with Ashley is no longer going to hold. Allegedly, oh, allegedly. Always remember that these are all alleged information. I do not live in the palace, so I am not in any way related to these people. Oh. I am just a blogger. When I get this information, I share it with you. Okay? Always remember. Mm -hmm. Before we proceed, let me welcome you back to my channel officially. You're welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, okay? Give this video a thumbs up. Share my video and turn on the notification bell. I'm going to bring you more gist. Bye for now. Love you guys.